What is up boys, welcome back to some more CFA. We're making two debuts here with Kobayashi and Kiyoki. Gonna be kind of interesting to try and pronounce these and stay with it, but I want to say welcome back to some CFA. It's been a little while and uh, here we go. We have Kobayashi uh, there in the blue corner and Kiyoki in the red corner. So we're gonna see how this one goes boys. Very excited for this fight. Looking forward to it. Here we go. Very exciting card. We have Doria v. Hamza, the two Paco Aduini. Is it Pat? No, it's Park Aduini brothers. Or relations or whatever. Fighting. We have Magnus v. Fraser Hunt Stewart. Again, which is going to be a very exciting fight. Um, Tracial Jackson v. Mahub in the Kobo. We have Jordan Walker v. Bruno. That one is going to be an absolute barn burner. Uh, we have Arlo v. Jason Jones 2. And then the super fight. Roger Rose taking on Owen McCarthy. The winner goes to the UFC. So that's going to be super interesting. Don't know who's actually going to win that. But I'm excited either way. If you are enjoying the CFA videos, please hit the like button. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to keep these going. And we've got Kiyoki here with some nice grappling. To be fair, he's a little bit unorthodox with the way he throws. We've seen some nice Mai Tai stuff from Kobe Yashi. Kiyoki there with a hip toss, but Kobe Yashi manages to get back to his feet. That was nice. Nice elbow there. Oh, pops him with the uppercut. Down goes Kobe Yashi. Nice body kick, though. Elbow. Double elbow there for Kiyoki. Kobe Yashi down on the canvas. He shoots. Nice takedown defense there for Kobe Yashi. Very nice. We've seen a lot of nice clinch work here from Kiyoki, man. Really, really nice clinch work. Oh, that uppercut nearly popped him, though. And nice takedown defense from Kobayashi. Very, very solid early on. Looking forward to seeing how he continues on this fight. I would like to see Kobayashi get some distance, land some, like, high kicks or something. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, uh, Imanari. Okay. Interesting. We don't really see many of these. Is he going to lock it in? I don't know. This looks like it could go either way, but it looks like Kobayashi might slip out of this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Interesting. This could go either way, but it looks like we're going to see an Imanari roll finish here for Kiyoki. Very, very interesting start to the card. Oh my god, an Imanari off the bat. Wow. What a start to the card, man. I love these cards. Kiyoki there impressing heavily. Big win for him. I'm expecting absolute fireworks for this one. I am I think a barn burner is about to unfold. But we have Duria Parkaduini v ha uh, Hamza Parkaduini. So both relations fighting it out. Let's see who gets it done. Duria is 4-0. Hamza's 5-0. There's Duria there in the blue corner. Hamza in the red. Here we go, boys. Very excited for this fight. Duria seems a lot bigger. I don't know who the better fighter is, though. We're going to find out. Both guys are undefeated. Big leg kick there. That size difference from Duria could be a problem. We will see. Good shots there for Hamza. Okay. Oh, combo there. That was nasty. Oh, Superman punch from Hamza. Do you're in trouble. Oh, and he's down again. Hamza. Looking like he's making short work here. Of his cousin or brother or whatever the fuck they are. Bro, he is not letting him off. That's crazy. Leg kick there. Nice straight. Hamza is a madman. He's not stopping. Dury is backing up a little bit. Good leg kick there, but he ain't an overhand. And Hamza looking for the finish. Flawless from Hamza. He is the real fucking deal. Hamza Parkadini. Oh my. Unbelievable. Absolutely lit him up. I thought that was going to be a close fight. Hamza just... Ain't no playing with him, bro. Jesus. My God. Two crazy performances so far. How is this card even going to get topped, man? I have no idea. But starting off, we have... Uh in this fight, anyway, we have Magnus taking on Fraser Hunt Stewart. Fraser Hunt Stewart is five and two. Magnus is eight and six. Let's see what happens, man. I know this one's going to be a wild one. Magnus hits like a damn truck, and Fraser is one of the craziest guys. We're so close to finishing Bruno, you know, in his last few fights. Like a Raja kind of fake. Oh, Raja kind of fake glove touched him and then and then cracked him. The cheese. Fraser's coming out aggressive in this one. He's already hurt the leg of Magnus. 
that's like a pre-existing injury. I don't know, but look at the creativity from Frazier, though. Push kick and then a switch kick straight after. We don't really see that too often. Magnus is going to bring all kinds of boxing to this fight. Magnus is definitely going to be one of these ones that just, you know, mixes in shots. Got to watch his boxing because he is lethal. But Frazier, I do feel like Frazier can win this fight. I think he's going to get it done, but we'll see. This is any man's fight. Frazier needs to be a little bit more active here. Oh, and there he is. He's dropped him with a knee. Frazier hunts to it. Looking for the finish. Bro, these cards, these fights are just going by so quick. We ended a war. That submission and that finish in the last two. CFA is mad, bro. I love it. Here comes Frazier, though. Magnus answering back. Body kick attempt there from Frazier. That was a nice bit of boxing from Hunt Stewart there. Overhand. Bro, they're just stocking it out. Let's go. Frazier's an animal, man, I'm telling you. Oh, he's hurt the leg. And that leg is hurting from earlier. And Frazier, then kicks are nasty. Big body shot. Frazier hunts Stewart. Looking like he's controlling this pace. I did pick him to win this fight. Big body shot. Just got to watch that box in the Magnus, because Magnus is crafty, bro. Pushes him down. Frazier just wants to get all up in his grill. Okay, so far. Shots in there. Great. Oh, body shot lockdown. This card's been mad, bro. He could have just busted a rib. He could have just busted a rib. The rep has seen enough. Frazier Hunt Stewart. What a card this has been. A body shot knockout, a dominant performance, and a Imanari roll. This card's got it all. Jesus Christ, man. Up next, we have Train Sean Jackson v. Mahub and Dakobo. Let's see what happens there. Trey Sean Jackson taking on Muhammad Dakobo up next. Jackson is 9 and 3. Muhammad Dakobo is 9 and 4. So pretty similar records. Nakobo got a very exciting finish in his last fight. Jackson's on a little bit of a skid, but a knockout here or a finish here would really put him back in that like top contender spot. He needs to beat the Kobo. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Jackson getting started. The knees from Jackson, they're nasty. The Kobo definitely wants to get this fight to the mat. There's no doubt about it. Let's see what happens. And he already has him down. Good takedown there from Muhammad Dakobo. Nice ground and pound here from the Kobo. It's proven to be a problem. Look at this ground and pound, bro. I don't know if Jackson's going to be able to get up. I know Jackson's got some decent wrestling. But I don't know if he's going to be able to deal with the onslaught that is Nakobo. We haven't seen Nakobo really dominate like we have like early on. But these losses from Nakobo, he's just been smoked for like real quick. And he hasn't really had time to get into the fight. When he usually like has some time to get in the fight, he's usually very good. So we'll see. I think if Jackson gets standing, that is the, the goal. Get back to the feet as quick as possible. Nakobo is such a good wrestler though, man. This could go either way. I do think, though, if it stays here, obviously, Jackson's chances slim drastically. But, yeah, then ground and pound shots are getting in. Surprised we haven't seen him try a submission yet. He's, he's more content with just holding him down and punching him, which is interesting. We don't really see that too often anymore. So, Kobo here, though, he is going for a submission now. Is he going to get it? Looks likely. Jackson, the submission defense there, not really up to par with that. He's starting to sneak back in. Just twisting the hip. Jackson trying to get a little bit of air in there. This is going to be close. I think the Nakobo might have it. Seems to be advancing a little bit quicker. Yeah, that's Nakobo submission. Two and two from Mohamed Nakobo. Unbelievable. What a performance. Unbelievable. Some dominant finishes tonight, man. Crazy. I think this could be fight tonight. We haven't really had a fight yet, I would say, 
is like, okay, that fight was a dog fight. Like, I feel like this one could be it. We've got Bruno v. Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker's 11 and 6. Bruno is 6 and 2. Jordan Walker there in the red corner. Bruno in the blue. Two fights left of this card. This card has just gone by real quick. I do apologize. Some of these finishes have been absolutely crazy. Let's see what this fight's like. After this, we have Arlo taking on Jason Jones again. And then we have the super fight. Roger Rose taking on Owen McCarthy. Winner goes to the UFC. All the belts. Let's see what happens. Oh. Crazy shit here from Bruno. I do feel like the winner of this fight, you know, could be next in line for a vacant title. There's like, there's two fights here. Some nice shots there. There's two fights here, like this fight and the next one. So this one at welterweight and then the other one at lightweight. Um, could be for like the vacant title or something. You know, like the winner could fight for a vacant shot. Them spinning body kicks from Walker. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's see what happens. Nasty shots here. Bruno's he's waiting in that range from Walker. It really does it really does win him a lot of fights, to be honest. That range is just nasty. We see uh we see Bruno, you know, he's he's a bit smaller. It's kind of what one Arlo the fight against him, them T-Rex arms. Of Bruno. Walker's a big, big dude for welterweight, man. He is literally a light heavyweight. <laughs> Probably like Darren Till. I don't know who wins this one, to be honest. It's going to be crazy, I know that. So Fado, Walker's popping him from range, and Bruno can't really do much. He needs to bang them kicks. And clipped again. Jordan Walker smells blood. Okay. Interesting fight. Big knees there. The elbow again from Walker. Lands clean. Pops him with that. Bruno so far. Okay. Walker's controlling that pace because he's got the range on him. He, he can dictate when the fight goes. Bruno needs the pressure. He's been rocked again. Walker drops him. Here's where it could change. I feel like Bruno's the better grappler. We will see. Let's find out. Sim Walker though on top. Side control. Interesting. Shots there. And turn it over. Ten seconds left. Good round for Walker, man. He's, he's looked really good this round. Pops him again as the last few seconds. Bruno is about to get ready to go to his stall. And Walker's like, fuck no, hold this. Bang. <laughs> Good round for Walker. Very good round. I don't know if Bruno can come back. The range is something that Walker, like, he's so good at. Just dictates that pace. Sometimes, Walker's one of these guys is like a mixed bag. He either looks well-class or, like, terrible. And tonight, so far, he's looking well-class. He's piecing Bruno up. Good little shot there from Bruno, though. Leg kick straight. That was nice. Another jab. Shot there. Good switch kick, and he's dropped again. Bruno, he's starting to wobble a little bit more. Is he going to be able to continue this? Up, oh, car, beautiful timing for Walker. He likes that front kick too. He throws that front kick a lot. Two shots there. Oh, he clipped him bad. Walker looking for the finish. Unbelievable performance from Jordan Walker. Unbelievable. These fights tonight have been insane. Crazy cards. Arlo taking on Jason Jones. Let's see what happens. Arlo is 6-1. and one. Jason Jones, 10-3. and three. So, very good record for Jones, to be fair. He's got a lot of wins, man. Here we go. Arlo in the red corner. Jason Jones there in the blue. Let's get it. A rematch. Round one. Oh, round one. The first fight went to Arlo, round one. 
New Zealanders, bro, in the UFC universe is uh, taking over. You've got Kiyoki, you just won via Imanari. You've got Arlo in the CFA here. And you've got McKinney in Fight Night Universe, who is the current heavyweight champion. He fights tomorrow against Pierce Smith for the trilogy. So, we'll see what happens. I know this fight is going to be so good. Jason Jones always brings it. Arlo's so wild and creative, too. The first fight, Arlo looked real good. But combination there. Oh, dude, this is going to be wild. Could this one slip fight tonight at the minute? Oh! Look at that, man. Crazy. Fucking wild, lad. Alrighty. Oh, no, he's got some points to prove tonight after getting knocked out by some guy with no eyebrows, no hairline, and a weird-ass mustache, and is the current champion, you know? So, fair play. He's got a point to prove. Take down attempt there from Jason Jones. Interesting. Nice straight there for Jones. Arlo just mixes it in though, bro. I love watching him fight. Like win or lose, I probably won't ever change his style. Good head kick there from Jones though. I probably won't ever change his style just because I just love the way he fights, bro. So wild. Okay. I do think the winner of this fight could fight Jordan Walker, to be fair. That was a spinning heel kick that hit Arlo clean, damn. I think he did block it, but it just broke through the guards. I mean, I'm seeing Jones now start to take over, but Arlo cracks him again. This has been a good fight. A real good fight for the first couple of minutes. Nice shot there for Arlo. Oh! Popped him with a straight. Wanted to keep it standing. Wild, bro. Wild fights. Love to see it, man. Both of these guys always bring it. They're so good. Play kick there for Arlo. After another knockdown. That could be over. That could be all she wrote. Jones, though. Tough as nails. Nice counter combo there from Jones. Beautiful. What a fight. Movement from Arlo. That distance control is nice. Oh, that could be over. He hit the deck there bad, but. Oh, high kick from Jones. Oh. Arlo's in trouble. Takedown. Denied. Good round, bro. What a round. That was insane. Round two coming up. Back and forth, bro. Look at that. Crazy back and forth fight. Let's go. Round two. Alrighty. Oh, that was a quick switch kick from Jones too, bro. The speed in that. Shot. Crazy fight. Good jab. Straight from Arlo, he's landing. That's what he's scoring a lot of these knockdowns with, that straight. And there it is again. Nice combination there. Jones, what a fight, man. Arlo's kind of shelling up here and waiting for a counter there. Good uppercut. Puts him down. Left hands. Superman punch, down goes Jones again. Jones is chin, bro, and he's hard overall. To just keep getting back up. He's a warrior. And he ain't out of this fight as well. He does land. It's not like Arlo's dominating. That could be over now, though. Big straight. And Arlo gets the finish. Crazy fight, though. Fight of the night, what do you reckon? Let me know. We've got one more to go, though. Owen McCarthy v. Roger Rose. Let's see what happens. Both belts on the line. Owen McCarthy v. Roger Rose. Let's see what happens here, man. Roger Rose. He is 7 0, I believe. Is he undefeated? I think he's 7 0. Roger Rose, yeah, 7 0. Owen McCarthy, 7 and 3. Similar records. Owen McCarthy, 3 more losses, but fucking hell. So off the bat, Owen McCarthy throwing leather. And you can already see the size difference is apparent. Roger Rose, a lot smaller. Claims he's the best kickboxer on the roster. We're going to find out. I think he is, to be fair. He's one of them. 
The winner gets signed to the UFC, though. It's going to be interesting seeing who can get matched up with future opponents in the UFC. Either way, they're both fun to watch, so, you know. It's going to be fun either way. Big body kick there. And they are really high-level kickboxers, both of these guys. Good uppercut there for Owen there. Pretty nice shot. Overhand lands again. Owen bombing with that overhand, bro. Big knee. Coffee with a fucking... What was that? Question mark? Crazy. Okay. Traded shots here. Bit of a uh, stalemate, to be honest. They're staring each other out. Not a lot really going on. I thought they would uh, go for it a little bit more. I guess both of these guys are tricky, you know? Need to kind of break each other down. A lot of feints, a lot of setups, a lot of movement involved. Just straight down the middle there, but Raja replies. Raja's going for it now. I'm really looking forward to seeing who. Oh, bro, that landed. Look at the feints from both of these guys, though. Madness. Absolute madness. Good knee for Raja. Raja's trying to be first. Arlo does have the size. But Raja is trying to just land first and get out. Oh, bro. These guys are mad. Good counter. Look at this, man. I'm going to leave the fight of the night up to you guys. I think knockout of the night. Oh, bro. It's, it's hard to choose. I think Hamza, maybe. I think submission of the night is definitely... Definitely, um, Kiyoki, hands down. And I think these these guys could get fight tonight. I think Bruno and and uh, and the other guy Jordan Walker could get fight tonight. And I think Arlo and Jason Jones could get fight tonight. So let me know what you think. This fight's been really interesting. Not a lot of head uh, head health events going into this one. Oh, high kick there from Owen McCarthy though. It looks like we're going to the second. Oh, he's clipped him again though. And again, down goes Raja. And McCarthy, literally like two, three punches away from a finish there, but the round is over. Round two coming up. McCarthy finished strong there. Raja had some good moments in the middle of that round, though. Here we go. Some kicks from Raja, nasty. Carthy. He's starting to miss the overhand a lot, and that is going to drain his stamina. Remember, this is a five-rounder, if need be. Count the shot there from McCarthy, though. Good leg kick. High kick drops Raja. That could be over. McCarthy looking for the finish. And gets it. Owen McCarthy is going to the UFC. Unreal. What a fucking card this has been. Owen McCarthy now has two belts and he is going to the UFC. I think the vacant fights could potentially be Jordan Walker Arlo, maybe Bruno and Jason. I know Raja could probably get in there as well and fight. So we'll see what happens. But man, what a performance from Owen McCarthy. He, he started to fade halfway through the fight. But near the end here, we see him really pull through strong in the end of that first round and then come back here in the beginning of the seconds and get that finish. Insane. Righty, boys, I am going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more CFA next time. So, awesome, guys. Have a wonderful day. See you all again in the next one.